Now, from the Global Montreal Studios, at the corner of Peel and St. Catherine in downtown Montreal, The Evening News with Jamie Orchard. Hi there, thanks for joining us tonight. So, the question, did Dawson go too far when it expelled a student who exposed how easy it is to get private information from the college's computer system? The student kept hacking into the system, even after the college told him to stop. As Elisa Brian Baines tells us, experts say the college should be hiring the student, not kicking him out. Computer science student Hamid El Kabaz wondered if his personal information was safe, so he hacked into Dawson College's servers and says he found big holes. So big that uh, somebody could have ruined somebody else's life with those social insurance numbers, those addresses, or pictures, everything. He told Dawson and the server's administrators. They thanked him and told him it was fixed. Two days later, he decided to go back and check, this time from his home. That's when he says he was accused of launching a cyber attack against the school. I never had in malicious intent. al Kabaz ran a vulnerability scanner called Acunetics. The program tests systems and reports flaws. The 20-year-old admits Dawson told him to stop, but he didn't. Now he's being expelled for acting unprofessionally and breaking the school's code of conduct. That means zeros in all his classes and a $5,000 bursary to pay back. Dawson's student union says al Kabaz should be thanked, not kicked out. He really does not deserve this. He had absolutely no bad intentions. Had, had, had what he found fallen into the, sorry, into the wrong hands, uh, it could have been incredibly dangerous for not only the 10,000 students at Dawson, but potentially uh, hundreds of thousands of students in Quebec, all those using the Omnibox service. Dawson released a statement today saying, in the recent case of Hamid al Kabaz, which he himself brought to the media, the college stands by its decision. Hackers hired to test companies' system also use Acronetics, but with permission. Well, he went too far because he did the scans apparently from home, and he didn't get permission to, to run that tool. If he was in the school and you know he was working with the... the Dawson to at least do some testing, that would have been a different story. Still, he thinks Dawson shouldn't expel al Kabaz, but instead use him to make sure it doesn't happen again. The privacy commissioners are starting to crack down on this because there's starting to be more and more breaches in Canada and personal data is at risk. Rules are rules and you have to abide from that. Even though Dawson says it's sticking to its position, al Kabaz wants to go back and maybe get permission to help strengthen the system legally. Elise O'Brien Baines, Global News, Montreal.